Hey guys, welcome back. Um, another of our quick look videos at the uh, Browning Tour at Bible. This time, the one that I've been asked about probably the most since um, the BSS in, uh, well, I guess it was early 2020 um, when this gun was launched, the new 725S. Um, Browning have listened to their critics including me, because um, you'll recall I reviewed the 75 Mark II on my channel. It was the second video I did, and I hated it. Uh, <laughs> they have fixed it, I'm very pleased to say. Um, this puts them squarely back in the market at a gun at this price, um, because they've fixed the problems with it, and it is really, really nice to shoot. Um, so, I'll take you through the technical bits. We've got matte barrels, uh, which on this gun are 30, also they're in 32, ventilated mid-rib. Uh, we've got a tapered, what looks like 12 to uh, 8 mil um, top rib with a tram line, mid bead and front bead. In fact, a DS choked, 18.7 uh, board. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember the chamber, but I'll put it on in the description. Um, the forend uh, is available in two styles. You've got a schnabel and a trap forend, which is the, which, what this one is. Um, it is available in both adjustable and non-adjustable with both schnabel and non-schnabel forends. So you effectively got four models. Um, they start at 2.3 and go up to 2.5 for the adjustable. Um, the forend is, it's all grade one, hand cut checkering though. Um, I pref much prefer this, uh, this trap forend. I think it fills the hand nicely. I just appreciate a, um, a trap forend. We've got the uh, nice plain action, which follows the style of the 525SL. I think it looks really, really well. Um, mechanical triggers haven't changed. We've got this um, matte contrast top lever, which looks really good. They have slimmed down the, uh, the palm swell, which I thought was far too big on the old one. So I think we've lost about 20% of the mass there, which really, really helps. It gives you enough of a positive grip without being like holding, I don't know, a coke can. Um, again, coming back, they've slimmed down the stock, so they've gotten rid of that great lump and unit of a stock that used to be on this, um, and it is really, really nice. Um, someone shifted the comb over on this one, which means it doesn't quite fit me, but uh, that's the beauty of having the uh, adjustable comb. And it's the same, the same uh, adjustable comb system as you get on the Pro Sport, which is basically one bolt, move it, lock it back down again. Um, we've got an inflex pad, which kind of rounds out the gun. As I said, Limited time with the gun today. I've been able to shoot um, a variety of targets, but with a limited, num a limited amount of time. But chalk and cheese from the old gun. Um, really, really enjoyed shooting it. No problems with it. It's just a right nice gun for about two and a half grand and puts them squarely back in the market space. I think they left a gap with the old gun. Guys, thanks very much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, more to come. Um, please do follow me on Instagram um, at Lloydy P. Like, comment, subscribe, etc. Um, do let me know what you think in the comments below. And um, I'll see you next time with another gun from Browning.